you got the two points you came for, but what else do you feel like you were you got out of that game? Do you think? They're not a great deal. I don't think we got a lot of it, but um, uh, listen, London improved a lot since we played them earlier in the year, so don't give them credit for that. But we were, we were way off tonight, so um, just but, I mean the players pretty disappointed with the performance, so. We got the two points, so I'm not going to overreact. Yeah. Obviously, they got you back to six points behind late on. Did you, did you ever feel that game got got out of your control, particularly at that point? Um, well, n not really. But I didn't ever feel like we were in control of our own game. Is a question really mm -hmm. is the answer. Like, but that's just the reality. We never really controlled the game how we planned to. So you know, that's. Um, that's probably a better way of phrasing it. Yeah. Obviously, I guess George Williams stepping out the side, it's it's never great when your half back steps out, but does that kind of performance show how important he actually is to your team? No. no just, everyone's got a job to do. Everyone just get the job done, that's regardless of it's been our system all year. So I mean you can't replace George, it's impossible, but I mean, I've, I've also got other quality blocks that should be able to get the job done um, better than that. So, um, I, I'm not I'm not rip, ripping on the team too. I like I love what they bring. They got lots of energy for me, but you know they they know that that won't get enough tonight. Yeah. How, how come uh, How come George was was missing? Uh, yeah, he's just played a lot. He's played a lot, and he plays pretty tough. Like you know, so we decided just to give him a rest later on. He had a slight niggle, so. I just didn't want to risk it. it Last-minute call, really. Yeah. Was that the case for the for the rest of the uh, the front line lads that, that didn't play today? Yeah, well, they've all played a lot. Jimmy's played a lot. Um, Nico's played quite a bit, and um, they've played big minutes. Uh, you know, Yates he's played big minutes, albeit a different club, and um, I tend to give Pauly a break, but it didn't work that way. So, but no, we, the guys that came in were great players. So. You know, it's not like I don't think we were a weak side. I still thought it was a really strong side. So, yeah, I mean, it's like last week. I guess you'll um, you'll not that analyse your own your own side's performance, but you find yourself sitting there giving giving credit to the opposition for what for what they brought because the London much improved from what you saw earlier in the season. Yeah, no, honestly, they've been really good. So you know, they, they throw a lot more at you. They've physically, um, uh, they've improved in the in the collision. So. And uh, you know, I think they they missed a few opportunities as well. They might be seething about. So I don't know if you spoke to their coach yet, but they probably left a couple out there, which would have made me real nervous. So they're they're you know they're finding the way a bit of the side. So um, you know, I mean, if the season was longer, I think they'd, they'd certainly keep improving and challenging teams all all the way through. Dafty, mate, bringing bringing Dafty off. Can you talk about that? Obviously, you want to give the other fellow a go. Yeah, well, it's always a plan. Like you know, yeah. Kai, Kai's an out and out fullback. Um, I, I plan to get Duff off, like literally five six minutes into the half. But obviously, with Rod with the HIA, um, changed it a little bit. But there was always a plan. So he was, he didn't like it. But I mean, he's, um, he, he didn't like it at the time. But he'd be all right. Do you, next week is it? Are you going to be close to full strength? Like, is there any positions you want to play with, or you? No, no. We, we I mean, uh, I've got a few decisions to make now through the week. Um, almost, um, we're getting close to full strength. So, you know, there's guys that are out for the year, Leon and, and Renshi, um, but I think majority is back next year. So, what positions cause you the most angst? Um, well, the bench, the bench is going to be the bench and the starting pack. So. That's my job. Mm -hmm. So, quite enjoy. I'd rather be in this position than the other one. A couple of weeks ago, like, a, like the, the, was it was a fantastic performance. Last two weeks, maybe been a bit off. Do you, um, what, what sort of factors as a coach do you sort of think contribute to that? Like, it's a long season, so you can't be at your best every week. Um, are you pleased with the way you're pacing yourselves, as it were, and the, the, you know, or are you alarmed in any way? Or no, no any view certainly not. No, I, I'm real happy with the team. Um, you know, we uh, we went through a really pat good patch, but you know, human nature, behaviour. Sometimes it will waver, and we're just going to find our way through that slow week. This week, we had guys off 
for the majority of the week. So, um, I'm happy with, with where we are. We've got, you know, I think we've got six games left in the league. So, I will just keep building now through to the back end. Is Dufty against like a, in, like in a final or something a playoff? Obviously, you don't deal with your interchange bench the same way you do in um, the match today because you rested players. So, this, so next week, is he is he back on for the whole eighty minutes or is he still? Yeah, I don't know. I'll see how he behaves this week. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see how he behaves this week. Okay. Yep. That's okay. Right. Am I right? Okay. Sorry, Sam. Can I just ask about Aunt Middleton coming into the uh, coming into the camp? What's the uh, how's that how's that sort of come about? We've got a lock of Ant, actually. Have I? I'll, say, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, not the, you're not the first person who said that. Yeah. I got called the pound shop Ant Middleton once. <laughs> really? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that as well. No, well Ant, Ant was a big part of the start of our year, and um, his son Gabriel is an aspiring young athlete, and uh, he's been with us for his six week holidays, um, training in our junior system, so it was a handover back with him today. So, you know, he's not often in England these days, so it's good for him to catch up with the team uh, and see where they're at. And obviously, the last time we saw them, he was yelling at them mm. and throwing them in and out of the ocean in the south of the country. So it's nice for them to see him in a in, in normal habitat. But uh, yeah, he's a great mate of mine. He's obviously um, he's got great qualities, so he's just great block to have around.